The lights are on. The countdown is done. The Dasrat Stadium welcomes the young prodigies, the young guns of South Asia. It's India against Bhutan. It's the little blue tigers against the little dragon boys of Bhutan. Nepal is the host this time around. India, the defending champions as they won. 120 championship in the youth category. Bhutan, who really played well in the first game, defeating Bangladesh. Nepal has already qualified for the semi finals alongside Pakistan from Group A. Now, this game will decide who will be group winners as well as the runners up. So we will be having national anthems of both the teams. Firstly, we will be going through the national anthem of India. the national anthem of Bhutan. It's the match number six, the decider of Group B. Who will be the group leader as well as the runner-up this match will decide. Nepal has already qualified alongside Pakistan. India is against Bhutan in the Group B match for today. The referees for today are Navindra Marjan, the main referee, Accompanied by the first assistant referee, Kishan Kanaya Yadav, also an Nepali, Nepali referee. The second assistant referee is Ali Mehboob. The fourth official is Anjum Adnan. So the teams are ready. India has done wonders in the Asian Games. They have qualified for the upcoming round. The senior Indian team. It's time for the young Indian players now. India has the lineup with three changes. Lionel Remy will be the goalkeeper as well as the captain. Ricky Meiteho bomb in the defense alongside Jahangir Ahmad Shagu, Raja Harijan, Arjun Singh Oinam will be there as well as the forward Gugamshir Goyari, Noba Meti Pangambam, Siva Prasad, 
as well as Yashikro, Kelvin Singh Thoram, Thomas Kanamutil Cherian. So that was the lineup for India. Bhutan is lined up with three changes as well. Goalkeeper Penjol Galsen, Pema Zamgo the captain, Ukyen Wanchuk, Pelzang, Penjor, Legdrup, Tenzin Dorji, as well as Chopel, Jigme Namgyal and Jigme Singye. So Bhutan is lined up 4-2-3-1 with three changes and India is lined up with a 4-3-3 with three changes as well. Rukum Shir Goyari scored the first goal for India in the first day. Nawaba, the second who scored the second goal. And Arjun Oinam scored the third goal for India in the first day. Bhutan is lined up with a 4-2-3-1 with three changes as well. India won the first game 3-0. Will be filled with confidence in their hearts. Will be looking forward to progress into the semi-finals with a 100% result. India, who are the champions of the Under-20 Championship, which happened in Bhuvaneshwar. Under-19 squad will also try to replicate their success. Bhutan, on the other hand, are the dark horses this time. Their best finish where in 2017 and 19, where they finished fourth place. That has been the best record, and they will be participating in the semi finals as well. But we we'll look forward to win this game and be the group leader and progress to the semi finals. And India will also try to do the same thing. It's the whistle, and the game kicks off. It's India against Bhutan. India, who already won their first game. Bhutan won their first game as well against Bangladesh. And Bangladesh are out of the tournament. And this match is for the top spot. Bhutan, who have been meaning, doing a great job in the youth rankings. Coach Yaharu Takahashi has been taking over the youth team, under 19 team, as well as the lower ranking is, as well. And he has been appointed to develop the youth level football of Bhutan. His Japanese coach is appointed. Dispatch as the instructor, as youth academy director, academy youth director of Bhutan. And is looking forward to change Bhutani football dramatically. It's free kick now for India. Lionel Remy will be the captain for today. Lifting the ball onto the far side. Bhutan is in the back foot from the start. There's a heavy ball there by Indian player. Kelvin is starting today. Kelvin Thoram. Once again, it's Bhutan. India gathers the ball again. A lifted ball into the box. Bhugam Shir Koyari heads the ball. Hurts himself in the process. And it's an opportunity missed for Gugam Shir Goyari.
put his head on the line, but didn't succeed to get the goal. It's Bhutan with the goal kick. You can see it on the replays. Oh, it was a punch from the goalkeeper. Straight on the face, Kogunchek Goyari. Must have hurt a little. Goyari, who scored the first goal for India. The opening fixture against Bangladesh will be looking forward to score another. Stay as well. He's the number nine of the team. Goyari, who has a lot of experience. Also, played in 2021 edition. Football Championship gave for Delhi FC Futsal. And he won the championship at Delhi FC. And he's trying to replicate, he's trying to show his futsal skills. And football also. And he has been pretty successful. Good with the ball, with the good movement. Rogam Shadgoyari will be a threat for Bhutan today. On the other hand, Bhutan with a few senior level players as well. Kinzan Tenzin and Pema Zangpo have already played in Nepal in Kathmandu during the Three Nations Cup. It's a good ball for Bhutan. An opportunity for Bhutan. Rinzin misses it. Rinzin Dorji. It was a good ball. There for Rinzin. And it's an opportunity for India now. You can see it in the replays. Rinzen with the opportunity. Rinzen who came on and scored the fourth goal for Bhutan. It was a crazy game against Bangladesh the day before yesterday. The day before September, it was the second game of the day. The time where the victors. You can hear a lot of support for Bhutan. Bhutan has that level of brotherhood with Nepal. It's a calling relationship. It's really good as well. You remember the time when Bhutan provided the venue, the Chamlimitang Stadium for the World Cup qualifiers against Kuwait. And Nepali football is forever thankful to Bhutan for that bit of generosity. Once again, it's going to be a throw in from the right hand side for Raja Harijan. who starts the day with a long throw in good ball into the box it's a foul throw basically not a regular sight to see in this level of football tournament and it's a foul for Bhutan On the papers, India are the favourites, but then Dan looks to put up a show against India, who have been the champions in the Under-20 Championship as well. India are the winners two times, and if India wins this tournament, India will surpass Nepal. As Nepal has already won two championships as well in 2015 and 2017. And once again, it's Bhutan from the left hand side. It's Kinzan. Young superstar is the Captain Pema now. Trying to walk his way through. It's Pema again from the left hand side. Pema with the cross, a good ball in the far end. Not much problem for the goalkeeper. I was saying this opportunity is for India 
Mr. Vass, Nepal, is India and Nepal have both won two championship championships each in the youth level. Nepal won the first two editions in 2015 and 2017. India has won the last two editions, 2022 and 2019. That is off the youth category. Bangladesh have been the runners up thrice in that period. And it's India again in the attack. This combination's being played. It's Kelvin trying to attack there. Attacking opportunity for Bhutan, but it will be cancelled out. Flag was already up. It's almost 10 minutes gone, and both of the teams look equal. Bhutan is equally living up to the game. from this game will face Nepal in the second semi-finals and it's a true ball opportunity there for India Kelvin Thona tried to push his way through but it's only going to be a corner kick for India Arjun Singh Oynam will be taking the set piece the corner kick from the left hand side you can see it in the replay it's a good ball there for Kelvin Thoram, who starts today. He's left disappointed. Could have done better as well. It's now Arjun from the left-hand side. Arjun Singh Oynam. Arjun with a good delivery in the far end. Tiny defense was not as confident. It's now going to be a throw in for... Going to be a corner kick for India. <laughs> Thank you, pardon. It will be taken by Yashitro. <laughs> India with the corner kick. Ball lifted into the box. Once again, it's Bhutan on the counter attack. Ball lifted there, but this uh, already been blown. It's going to be a free kick for Bhutan. Switch onto the right hand side. Taken by the goalkeeper Lionel Remy. It's going to be a throw in for Bhutan. Good support there by the Bhutani supporters. You can hear it in the background. See a lot of Nepali spectators there today as well. What a regular sight to see, actually. Now, it's time for India to attack from the right hand side. Comes on to the opportunity. It's back clearance there by the defender. Arjun. Arjun with the shot. It is 
excellent shot there by Arjun Singh. Oh, you know, could have done better. Return. Came back from a 2 0 deficit to win the game. 4 3 eventually. We'll be looking forward to we have the same fighting spirit today. Arjun wins the ball. Arjun once again switches on to the left hand side. It's Calvin Thoram. Arjun. Once again. Combination is being made. Box actually. Spema. Switch the ball up front. From the left hand side now. Calvin Sora has been a busy player today. Trying to retain the possession, the Indian team. Once again, ball on to the left hand side. Calvin Thoram puts the ball into the box. It's going to be a free kick for Bhutan. For a foul. India. A lot of experienced players in their book. Coach Svendu Panda has coached some other youth level teams as well. As well as Goalkeeping coach Felix Souza, who has al already coached the U17 team in the Asian Cup. Now it's going to be Kinley. It's going to be Raja Harijan on the right hand side for the join. It's 15 minutes gone. Trying to do the box. Opportunity for India. Once again, a chance from India. Bhutan manages to get it out of the danger zone. Bhutan trying to attack from the left hand side now. Trying to nutmeg. Ends in that group. It's India on the break. Going to regain the ball, India. Tan doesn't look comfortable on the back line. They're playing on the back foot. And Noba may they have may have hurt himself in the process. Noba Mete was an excellent performer last time around. He scored the second goal. This is the replay. And caught a knock on the head. In that process, Bhutan have been a regular mostly in this South Championship. 
But in 2022, he did not participate in the Under 20 Championship. That's the coach, Ideharu Takahashi. He's been taking over this team also. He's the U18 National Team and BFF Academy Director of Under 15 and Under 18 as well. Once again, it's Bhutan from the right inside. Bhutan trying to attack from the right inside. It's Jigmin Namgyal. Wins the corner for Bhutan. With the win against Bangladesh. The morale has been heavily boosted. And today, they're taking on... Giants, India. Pema will be taking the corner kick from the left hand side, from the right hand side, specifically. Pema Zanko, the captain, with his left foot. An excellent distributor. Will try to support his team. Pema with the cross. Pema Zanko didn't deliver as expected. It's going to be Bhutan again. Free kick for Bhutan once again. We will be looking forward to bounce on the half chances. It's once again. Surprise, surprise. Bhutan takes the lead. It could have been a cross, it could have been a shot. But it finally finds the net and Bhutan takes the lead, surprisingly. Lionel Remy was left surprised, was left baffled and he could not prevent the goal. Bit of wrong anticipation maybe. Bhutan takes the lead. This was not expected. Jigme Sangya. It's Jigme Namgyal actually. We can confirm Jigme Namgyal was the scorer. He scores his third of the tournament. He scored the two goals against Bangladesh. is the top scorer of this tournament till this point it is a really really surprising moment and I believe Lionel Remy was not expecting looks like a cross though but it would have been anything only he would know Jigmin Amgya Wouldn't matter for Bhutan though. Only thing that matters is the goal that has been scored. Once again, it's Bhutan. We have been a real force today, Bhutan. The Indian team looking really, really. Taken aback actually by the performance of the Bhutani team. Once again, Bhutan wins the ball on the far end. It's the right back, Jigme Singh. There's a missed clearance there by the goalkeeper. Could have gone anywhere. It's going to be. Corner kick for India. Cross into the box. It's a 
foul. The Bhutani player landed in the hard space, in the hard area, in the athletic track. It's going to be uh, showing then. Attacks from the left. On current standings, Bhutan is with six points. India, three points in their hand already. Wonderful bit of clearance there by the Bhutani defender, Ukyen Wanchuk, to save the corner. And Z to throw in, but will be more satisfied. Chaharijan from the throw in. Raja lifts the ball into the box. And it's now. India with a corner kick from the right hand side. It's Arjun Singh Oina. It's a throw in once again. Arjun Singh Oina. Cross to the far end. It's a throw in. Once again, Bhutan looks to attack. Tries to catch India on the break. It's Ukin Wanchuk. To put his player through. It's been disappointing. Attack there by the Indian team. A little bit different today. I'm left surprised by the quality of the Bhutani team. It's India. Going to attack from the left inside. He misses it widely. It's India again. It's Yashitro. Ball by Arjun Singh. Will be the dictator in chief. We'll try to pull the strings for the Indian team. It's going to be a turn for Bhutan on the right hand side. Jigmen Amgyal. Comes for the support and gets the ball. And once again, it's Jigmen Amgyal, the goal scorer. Jigmen Amgyal with a wonderful bit of skill there. It's a foul. Yellow card is shown to the Indian player. Jigmen Amgyal has really, really threatened the Indian team today. Bhutan at the Dusnet Stadium. Bema Zanko will be looking forward to double Bhutan's lead. Pema 
Zanko with the free kick here. Good shot there. The first part. A bit of goalkeeping there by the goalkeeper Lionel Demi. Once again, it's India. Nova Mete trying to stretch the Bhutani defense. And it's a shot. Trying to connect with the ball. Yes, she threw. Couldn't do it properly. Shitsu, who is playing as the deep line midfielder in this full 3 3. It's also trying to come up front once again. It's Yash Chito. It's Arjun with the shot. Arjun Singh right now misses it widely. Could have done better from outside of the box. Arjun Singh going right now. given the responsibility as the creative midfielder today. By far, India have not created much. It's once again, pressure scenario for India in the defense. It's a bad pass, actually. The goalkeeper, Lionel Remy, comes to the rescue. It's Offside call, the flag is already raised. It's a free kick for Bhutan. Indian, Indian players are once again left disappointed. Pema. It's from the center line, which is onto the left hand side. It's Ugyen. Tenzin leg two. Good footwork there by Tenzin. Tries to not make this defender. Manages to squander. So an opportunity. Another throw in there. Now by Uke Manchuk. You can hear the chance for Bhutan in the Indians. It's Pema. Trying to win the free kick. He gets one. It's 30 minutes gone at the Dasrath Stadium and Bhutan are leading by one. India. Do not want to be in this kind of scenario. Pema with the ball. Shot. Free kick there. Sukhme. Vincent Doji was there. Deliver. And Remy clears it. Good control there by Indian defender. Bhutan with the ball again. As things stand. Bhutan and the group leaders. Once again, it's an opportunity for Bhutan. It's a shot by Pema. Shoots it wide. Shoots it high. Every bit of ambition there by the captain, Pema. Pema Zanko, who has also played in this stadium before in the Three Nations tournament. It's India again from the attack. It's a shot. Misses it widely. Kelvin Thoram could have done better. It has been disappointing today from the left hand side. Couple of opportunities there. We're watching this live from Sportsworks YouTube channel. We have been very, very thankful for your support all this while long as we have been bringing live broadcasts from all across South Asia. Sportsworks is the official broadcaster for this tournament's of under 19 championship. India is on the attack. It's a shot from. Indian player Noaba Mete. Oh, 
misses it widely. India have been pretty much disappointing today in the final third. They gear today. Once again, it's India on the attack from the left hand side. Heavy ball disappoints Kelvin Thoram. Bit of experience there in the Indian camp as well. Signed for the Bangalore team. Captain Pema starting both of the games for Bhutan during the Three Nations tournament in Kathmandu. Once again, it's Bhutan on the attack. to catch Bhutan on the break now. It's the counter attack by India from the left hand side. It's yes, she throw. Yes, with the cross, an opportunity for India. Wonderful goalkeeping there by the goalkeeper, Penjol Galsen. It wouldn't have counted anyway. Flag had already risen up. It's 35 minutes gone. See it on the replays. Good vision there by Kelvin Thora. Trying to find his forward. Snoba Mete. The winner of this game will be meeting Nepal in the second semi finals. Put the ball onto the box. Now we can be there for the goalkeeper. And it's an easy tap in for the Indian player. It's Kokam Sher Goyari. Confusion there in the Bhutani defense. And the Indian forward does no mistake. It's so number nine who scores again the first goal for India. Like he did against Bangladesh. Could have done better, the goalkeeper. Gokam Sher Goyari, second goal for this tournament. Last experience, the Delhi FC team, Gokam Sher Goyari. Was there in the Futsal Championship in 2021. Done. Have to go back at India once again. Kinza. Kinza pushes it back for his captain, Pema. Again with the shot. India on the counter attack from the right hand side. It's Nova Mete. Nova Mete. Still going forward. No Mithi with the shot, straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. No problem for Penjo Galsen. Trying for an overlapping run there for Jigme Singye. It's eight minutes till the break and it's one all at the Dasrat Stadium. India revives themselves. Bhutan took the lead in the early moments with a surprise goal there by number 17, Jigme Namgyal. It's even Steven now here at the Dasrat Stadium. Bhutan have done a good bit of homework for this tournament. The head coach Hide Haru Takahashi. Looking forward to 
Devla Putani football from its roots. Another shot there, straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Recklessness there by Norba Mete this time. Bhutan will get the opportunity from the right. Jigme Namgyal. Has pushed himself behind. Considering the defensive scenario for Bhutan, it's now an attack from the right hand side. It's Jigme Singye. An opportunity there for Bhutan. Sange. Sange Chapal was there. It's an opportunity. Good block there by the Indian defender. It was Thomas Sheyan who put his body on the line. See it on the replays. Tenzing leg group he tried the blast, he tried to blast the ball inside the net, but Thomas Sheryan managed to save it. The captain now on to his set piece duty. Pema. Pema Zanko. With a good cross onto the first bar. And India will get an opportunity from the right hand side. Switches on to the left hand side. Arjun Singh Oinam provides the pass to his teammate. Another shot there straight into the hands of Benjot Gyalsen. Benjot, who has been really good. In this first half, except for one moment, which provided India the goal. Sangha Chappelle. Combinations being made in the far end, in the far right side of Bhutani attack. Jigme Singye. Reckless touch there by him. Jigme Singye manages to win the throw in at least. To win the ball, Jigmin Namgyal now, the goal scorer. Jigmin Namgyal once again. Runs past the Indian defenders. It's a good shot. A good block as well. It's going to be a corner for, in for Bhutan. Jigmin Namgyal has been a sensational player throughout this tournament. He scored two in the first game. Has already scored one. It's the captain Pema Zanko again. With the corner kick. And with the cross this time. Shoots it wide. Long ambitious ball there by Lionel Remy. India again on the attacks. Trying for the through, bo through ball for Kelvin Thuram. Kelvin has been put on the starting lineup today and it's. An unfortunate moment there for the Bhutani player. Hit his head maybe on the process. And it's going to be a free kick, most possibly. It's the captain Pema. He's been hit, hit on the back. Shiva Prasad trying to prove his innocence, but it's already too late. Once again, Bhutan with the attack. 
Cross into the box. again and a throw in again less than two minutes left for the end of the first 45 minutes it's a throw in from the right hand side for India Raja Harijan gathers the ball he tries trademark long throw in into the box good turn there by Yashitro Spectacular. Misses it widely. She throw. One of the three midfielders today for India. One of the three midfielders are rotating their roles each of the times they are attacking. Bhutan again on the attacks, but India managed to win the ball back again. Which is on to the right hand side. It's Arjun Singh Oina from the right hand side. Nova Mete with the cross. Shitro will try his best to win the ball back. And yes, he does. Two minutes added onto the first half. Cross into the box there. India looks to score before the break and an ambitious attempt there by Arjun Singh. Couldn't find the target. Has to mark the number seven properly, the Bhutani defenders, otherwise, he will be dangerous. Be surprised if he manages to score one, to create one for his teammates. Arjun Singh Oina is one of the most lethal players in this team. Once again, it's India. It's Calvin with the shot. The goalkeeper manages to get onto the ball. Looking for the rebound was Kevin. Bukam Shea Goyai there. Ball front. Seem to be a handball. It's going to be a free kick for India. coach once again threat for the Bhutani defense the Indian team India looks to go forward before the break Dan will be to be satisfied with one points also, but now this is going to be the end of the first half. It's the halftime whistle. Today's match referee, Naveen Maharjan. In India. And Bhutan drawn the one-one draw here at the Dasrat Stadium. Bhutan scored the first goal. It was a surprise attack by Bhutan. Jigme Namgyal scored from the white flanks. And then again, Gogam Sher Goyari put his team equal before the break. The winner of this game will meet Nepal in the second semi finals. It's half time at the Dashrat Stadium. It's India 1, Bhutan 1.
Welcome back at the Dust Stadium. It's the final group game of the South Under 19 Championship 2023. India scored the second goal, whereas Bhutan scored the first one. It's 1 1 till the half time. Seven, second half is kicking off shortly. It's Bhutan against India. The final group game. The next game will be a semi final. Here we have the replays. This was the first goal by Bhutan. It was Jigme Namgyal with his third goal of the tournament. And this was the confusion which led to the Indian goal. It was Jersey number nine, Gugam Sher Goyari with the goal. It's one all at the break. Just to remind our viewers again, you're watching this live from Sportsworks YouTube channel. is the official broadcaster for this South Under 19 Championship 2023. It's the match number six. Bhutan against India. Bhutan won their first game against Bangladesh on 23rd of September as India won the first game against Bangladesh. It's the first, first match of this tournament. Is the last match of the group stages Bhutan against India. It's a shot from the center area by the Bhutani player. Bhutan considered the underdogs are performing really well at least till the end of the first half. Putting up a fight against the Giants. It's across from the left hand side. Arjun Singh, no, oh, no. <laughs> Trying to cross the ball into the box. It was not successful though. Kendra <clears throat> Galsen conceded. A really disappointing goal. Despite his wonderful bit of goalkeeping during the first half. Will be trying to correct himself in the second half. India, on the other hand, have been really dismal in the attacks. And may have been missing the captain Ishan Shishodia in the creative department. Ishan, who has been one of the main players who's from Ghaziabad, Uttar Pradesh and is missing today has been left on the bench India had a 10 days training in Saudi Arabia led by their coach Suvindu Panda this player have, players have been training in Bhuvaneshwar since 2021 and this is another opportunity there for the Indian team. And once again it's Bhutan from the left inside now. Good composure there by the Indian defender. India will look to pounce to any opportunity the passes there by the Bhutani team. Good give and go. Wonderful football there by the Bhutani team. Then so back from the left hand side and cross into the box. Wonderful opportunity. Kinzang narrowly misses. Would have been one of the best goals of this tournament if it had been put in by Kinzang. Really good work there. In the midfield there by the Bhutani team. They look good, the Bhutani youngsters. 
Once again, India trying to gain an advantage run. But again, the goalkeeper comes to the rescue. Where Kalinga Stadium has been a training ground for the young Tigers of India. The young Blue Tigers have been training in Bhuvaneshwar since 2021. They were participating. The training camp for a long while now. Once again. Done with the opportunity from the right hand side. It's an opportunity there for Bhutan. Once again, into the hands of the goalkeeper. Bit of tennis football there. Is already up. And there were the runners up in the under 19 championship. The host nation Nepal defeated them in the finals in 2015. In 2017 as well. They defeated in the semi finals. Managed to take the third place in 2017. Under 18 championship, which happened in Bhutan. It's a shot. Bhutan. Trying to pull off another miracle there. But this time it was not lucky enough. India. Pretty confident on their attacks. They look more brighter in the second half. Lift the ball on to the right hand side. A couple of substitutions there for the Bhutani team. Jignam Soltep Dorji has come on for the left back again. From the right hand side, it's India. A cut back there, an opportunity, good save there by the goalkeeper. Keeps his team in the tie. Good reflexes there by Benjol Galsen. You can see it on the replays. Cut back there by Yashitro. Just to be disappointed by the goalkeeper. Once again, it's India from the right hand side, it's an opportunity. Wins the corner. It was accelerating Gogam Sher Goyari, who could have been dangerous for the Bhutani team. It's Arjun Singh Oinam from the right hand side now. Viewers again, the winner of this game will be playing against Nepal in the second semi finals. It's a cut back. Opportunity for India. Header. Jangir Shagu, who popped on on the, on the box. Shangri Shagu. 
has been playing as a center back today. It's India once again. A bit of confidence there by Shiva Prashad. The touch once again. It's Gogam Sher Goyari. Gogam Sher trying to find his teammate. Looks to be in problem. Let's come on to the right hand side. themselves to Indian defenders. Loses the ball on the process. So the start of the game today has been pretty influential. It's time for India to attack from the left hand side. It's a good opportunity for India. Good block there by Shelton Pelzang. Trailing back well and managed to save his team from conceding another goal. It was a good opportunity. The recently arriving Sahil Kurshid could have put his team up front. It's Arjun Swing Sing Oinam now. So another corner kick. It's again Arjun Singh Oinam. It's from Manipur. There by the goalkeeper Penjo Galtsen. Tempted shot here. Not on target though. It's the commercial board. <laughs> it's almost one hour of the game. It's one all at the Dusford Stadium. It's India 1, Bhutan 1. Teams are looking to win the game. Again, India looks to attack. Cross into the box. Cross 
again. Could have been trouble. Long left of all there. Ambitious of attempt there by Bhutani player. Silly at the end, though. Shiba Prashad. Who started today. It's India on the attack. Arjun Singh Oina. Kogam Shea trying to combine with Kelvin. It's Nova Mete on the right hand side. India, who have been a consistent performer in the youth rankings, they managed to get the championship, which happened in Nepal in 2019. And also, they won the championship in 2022, despite being the runners-up in the group stages. But they were eventually the champions, defeating the group leader Bangladesh in the finals, which went to extra time. And India defeated Bangladesh 5-2. Dangerous scenario there. A bit of confusion. Raja Harijan should communicate more with his goalkeeper. Once again, it's the Indian team trying to attack. Noba Mete. It's Yashitso. Good passing there by the Indian team. From the right hand side, it's Noba Mete. With the cross onto the far hand side. Noba Mete couldn't deliver. Number 11, Sahil Koshid has come on for Kelvin Thoram. India will try to see this game through. A lifted ball, an opportunity there. Didn't take any risk for the goalkeeper, Pedro Galsen. Substitution there. Bhutan. Tenzing will be replaced by Kamal Uraun. And also, the captain Pema Zangpo is replaced by Ukyen Doshi. A strange change by. Japanese head coach takes off two of his best players. One must wonder what is going on with his mind right now. That could be a risk worth taking for Bhutan. Rests two of the important players for the semi final game, which they have already booked. It's a matter of which semi-final game they will be playing now. It's a corner. As things stands, both of the teams are equal in the head-to-head -head standings and it will go to the goal difference which India has an advantage of. They have scored three against Bangladesh. And there's a plus one goal difference for Bhutan. By far, it's going to be a corner from the right-hand side, which Yashitsu will be taking. 
Yes, with the cross. An opportunity there for India. Wonderful goal there by Ricky Hubam. Perfectly executed. Makes no mistake there. Experienced player. Ricky Hubam, who has already signed for the Bengaluru FC team, has been the difference maker here for the Indian youngsters, the young, young Blue Tigers here. Intelligent ball there by the set piece taker. And India manages to get the lead. It's Yashitra with the cross. A bit of training ground tactics there by the Indian team. And they are up front. And if the scoreline remains the same, it's India against Pakistan. I beg your pardon, it's India against Nepal in the second semi finals. And Bhutan will take on Pakistan in the first semi finals. Kamal Uran. Let's come on for the Bhutan team. It's now India again. Bhutan looks to be in the back foot now, but they will respond surely. They have been the comeback kings. In the previous game. So once again, it's Bhutan with the attack. Onto the left hand side now. It's now. Bhutan with the ball from the left hand side. And it's a throw in. Disappointing ball there by the Bhutani player. It's once again the replays of the second goal. Cleared it. It's going to be a throw in for India only. Indian under 20 team has been really successful in the past. Although Disappointing campaign. The under 20 qualifiers. Once again, it's India trying to attack the Bhutani team. India played their 2023 AFC under 20 championship qualifiers in October 2022, where they were defeated by Iraq 4 2 in the Kuwait City Stadium. And they were also defeated by Australia. Lost the game 4 1. But managed to win against Kuwait. It was a 2 1 win for the under 20 team. Once again, it's India on the attack from the right hand side. And it's a oh, missed opportunity. record and in fact the best record in the SAF championship tournaments 
They have been champions twice, runners up once, and third place. They've taken once in 2017. Looking forward to win the SAF Youth Labour Championship for the third time, third time this time around. Nepal has two championship medals, and it's a gold medals with themselves. Bhutan trying to come back. Sanke Chapel was given the opportunity to come back today. Pakistan as things stands in the first semi-finals the SAF under 19 championship in Kathmandu and it's a throw in for India from the left hand side Shahjah Harijan with the cross over the crossbar no problem for the goalkeeper left till the end of the 90 minutes and India with a one goal lead till now trying to bounce on the opportunity there Noba Mete Clears it properly. Again, it's Bhutan. Trying to come back. Right inside. Bhutan trying to attack. That's a true ball. Tiny team. It's really done wonders this time around as they defeated Bangladesh in the first game. India leading the way. Then again, Bhutan has put up a good fight with the Giants. It's going to be a throw in from the left hand side. Raja Harijan with the foul throw again. There have been two foul throws in this match by Indian players, and you don't usually see these kind of sights in this level of tournaments. Missed clearance there, India. Might utilize the opportunity though, but Nokamete couldn't find his feet. Bhutan. The throw in from the right hand side. Bhutan who have been really good in the 2019 championship as well, which happened in Kathmandu. Maybe it's the weather. They have been utilizing more. Dan defeated Nepal in the group match in 2019 in the APF Stadium. Then again, we have already a really good work 
in the grassroots development. Once again, it's put on from the right hand side. It was Sangue Chopin. He's trying to go forward. Captain from the right hand side. More than 15 minutes left. Left a ball. To the forward there can be an opportunity, but this is his body balance over there. And once again, it's Bhutan from the left hand side. Lifted ball there for Kamal Round. Can control it, Kamal. It's going to be a goal kick. Nam Soltev with a right footed cross. India had a really good record in the youth rankings. Winners of the OFC Youth Development Tournament, which is the first edition of the Youth Development Tournament, the International Youth Football Championship organized by Oceania Football Confederation. They won the tournament in 2019. They also won the Miss Cup. It was way back in 1990. Once again, it's Shot maybe or across. It's given as a corner kick for Bhutan. Number seven, Jetsun Dorji will be taking this corner kick from the right hand side. Fruitful for the Bhutani team. Less than 15 minutes left. You're watching Sportsbox YouTube channel, which is the exclusive broadcaster for this edition of the South and the 19 Championship 2023. You can subscribe to our channel for more content, more live videos. Streaming screen, you see. Once again, it's going to be Bhutan on the attack. Yes, Bhutani player wins it. He's in the center now. Trying to play as a midfielder, maybe. Engine Dorji. There's alternation there in the. Nation Rinjin is playing as a number 10 player, whereas Kamalu Round is the number 9. Now Bhutan trying to go up front again. Chechen Dorji. Trying to go forward. Again, Wang Chuk. Then put in the right back position. Didn't start the first game. Again, Wanchuk. Indian player is down on the ground. Coach. So, Indian Panda. He's trying to utilize the opportunity. Some refreshments for his players. Coach. Takahashi from Japan. 
has done wonders for the Bhutani youth development. Incredible campaign, the 2022 edition of the SAF Under 20 Championship, where they were defeated by Bangladesh in the first day, but then redeemed themselves with a 4 0 win against Sri Lanka and they thrashed the arch rivals Nepal 8 0 in the third group game and they defeated Maldives get to the finals where they defeated Bangladesh in the semi in the final game the final matchup game had to go to the extra time it's not a good sight to see for the Indian team the Indian player is going off in stretchers to 10 men for the time being with more than 10 minutes left for the game India looks to be the group leader even though they concede one goal unless Bhutan scores two goals and wins the game it will be the matter of goal difference Bhutan managed to score one goal and draw the game on the head to head standings, Bhutan and India will be equal, but the goal difference is what that matters. India has a goal difference of plus three, whereas Bhutan has plus one. Substitution for India, Arjun Singh Oynam will be replaced by Kunsol Tongsin. And yes, Chikro will also come off for Mangling Thang Kipgen. Ten minutes left. It's a corner for India from the right hand side. It's less than nine minutes left now. Kipgen. With his first touch of the game, plays a short corner. Looks like a left footer kept again with a cross straight into goalkeeper Benjo Galsan. Benjo Galsan had a pretty decent game, but though they, but he squandered. One goal for India to score. Bhutan wants to come back. Going to be a free kick for India, which Kipgen will be taking. Angling Tang Kipgen just arrived for India. Kipgen with the shot. Just over the bar. Wins a corner though. Good effort there by Kipken. Who tries to make an impact for his team. 
trying to introduce himself. Once again, it's Kipkin with his left foot. Kipkin with a good cross. It's time for Bhutan to attack now from the left hand side. It's Rinjin Dorji. Rinjin with a cross. Not much trouble for the Indian players. Goalkeeper Lionel Remy. Clears it wide. Once again, it's India on the attacks. Could be a dangerous scenario for Bhutan, but managed to regain the ball again. Lifted ball there by Bhutani player. It's a uh, try in for Bhutan. India. They did not manage to qualify. We're in the under 20 championships. Once again, it's an opportunity. And it's the Indian player who has been hurt in the process. India didn't manage to go through the AFC qualification for the under 20 championship. They were drawn into the group with Australia, Iraq, India, and Kuwait were the group members. And Group H, where Australia and Iraq proceeded through the final tournament. They managed to win against Kuwait, though. In the under 20 qualifiers, and they have been pretty much dominant in the youth categories and the youth level of SAF. Once again, it's Nova Mete with the shot. Ambitious effort, but couldn't find the target. and it is going to be a handball. Less than five minutes left. Less than three minutes left, specifically. Bhutan wants to come back to the game. And it's India. They have the lead till now. Prasad, who started today, trying to impress his coach today. And it's India again from the right hand side. Vicky, Vicky Mete, it's from Manipur. Vicky Mete, Hubam. The Indian player is out in the process. Getting his treatment. Outside the ground, Bhugam Shah Goyari. That's the ball. It's going to be a uh, 
Rachel in. Nova Mete. Time to pressure the Bhutani defender. Finland. Benjor didn't take any risks. India wins the ball back again. It's an opportunity from the far end. A shot into the keeper's hands. India. Pulling up the gear, pulling up their energy for the final few minutes. There's going to be one substitution for India once again. Substitution for India. Jersey number nine, Bhutansa Bhayagi is replaced by Jersey number 17, Kadeem Singh Tobal. So the goal scorer Gogam Shah Goyari will be replaced by Kadeem Singh Sobam. Miss Clarence, thereby Indian defender. It's going to be a throw in. Jigmes Singhe is given the captain, captain's armband. But he is not putting up in his arm. Once again, it's India with the attack. There's a slight bit of this deflection there. It's going to be a corner. Five minutes added. There will be five minutes of added time. Added right time, five today. minutes. Anjum Adnan. Once again, it's the number 19 for India. Kipgen on the left-hand side with the Good ball there. And once again, India managed to regain the ball. Final few minutes, India look on to hold on the lead. Maybe trying to score another goal. Stong Shin. Once again, it's Kipgen from the left-hand side. Good turn there by Kipgen with a cross. It's going to be a goal kick. A less than four minutes there. It's a shot blocked by the defender. India trying to find another opportunity from the right flank. It's going to be a throw in. By the looks of it, India will be the group leaders and will face Nepal. Second semi finals. Once again, good acceleration from the far right side. Noba Mete pulls it wide. Could have been the third goal for India. The head coach. Sivendu Panda looks disappointed on the touch lines. The scoreline remains the same. Bhutan will face Pakistan in the first semi finals. Let's see the attacks again. Shail Koshid was attacking the ball. It's going to be a throw in. Indian players look relaxed and nonchalant. It's all job done for India today. From the left hand side, it's Shiva Prashad trying to find his forward. Final minutes. Bhutan at least tried to compare to that of the opponents. Now, 
Gaining energy. The tiny team will not give up. Showing their character in the game before against Bangladesh. They will try to repeat that again against India today. Shahir Khushir is brought down. He'll take as much time as possible. Try to run down the clock. It's not a good sight to see there. Kicks his back. Shahir Khushir is brought down. It's a lifted ball. Straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. No problem there for the goalkeeper. Andrew Galsen has been pretty decent today except for the two goals he conceded. And once again, it's India from the left hand side. It's Shahil pushing through the channels. It's the Indian forward wins the corner kick. Finates Sobam winning the corner kick. A matter of seconds here, India. Will not be showing any urgency here from the left hand side. It's Kipgen. Mangan Kipgen with his left foot. Swings his left foot to the wide side. It's a header straight into the hands of Benjur. All eyes on the referee now. Additional time. It's already finished. It might be a matter of seconds now. Up until India books their place into the semi final as the group winner. We have, to, we have to give credit to the Bhutani team. They defeated the Bangladeshi team in the first day. They have been a dark horse in this tournament. And that's the final whistle by the main referee, Naveen Mohajan. India have proceeded to the semi-finals as the group leader. Bhutan will be the runners-up. And Bhutan will be facing Pakistan in the first semi-finals. Which will be kicking off at 1.30 Nepali time. Day after today, day after tomorrow. India will be facing the host nation Nepal in the second semi-finals and it will be one hell of a match. Nepal won against all leaves. The game before this it was a 4-1 match. Nepal managed to get to the semi-finals. Bhutan took the lead early on the game. They looked really fierce from the starting minutes. It was a goal from Chigmen Amgyal. The goalkeeper was not expecting that movement though. And this was a collision which led to the Indian equalizer. And this was a bit of training ground tactics there by Ricky Hubam who scored a screamer from outside of the box. It was the lead which mattered. India are on to the semi finals and Bhutan will follow them. The Indian players are showing their support to the Nepali supporters. It's a good sight to see. You can see the Japanese coach Hideharu Takahashi appreciating his players, appreciating the efforts of his players. This is one delightful moment to be as well for the Bhutani players. They have made another iconic moment, another historical moment, proceeding to the semi finals for the third time in the youth levels. It's full time at the Dasrath Stadium. It's India 2, Bhutan 1. So, yes, we are at the end of the broadcast. We'll be coming the day after today, the day after tomorrow. We'll be bringing the semi finals. The first semi final will be between Bhutan and Pakistan, which will be a 1.30 kickoff.
the host nation Nepal will be meeting India in the second semi-finals. All the action live and exclusive in Sportsworks.